हरि ओम थैंक यू फॉर कमिंग टू योग विद्या गुरुकुल फॉर द अक्टूबर योग टीचर ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम एंड थैंक यू ऑल्सो फॉर कमिंग एंड शेयरिंग योर एक्सपीरियंस टू द पीपल हु वॉन्ट टू कम टू योगा पॉइंट आई वुड लाइक टू आस्क यू टू थिंग्स दैट यू रियली लाइक अबाउट दिस प्रोग्राम एंड टू थिंग्स दैट यू फाउंड वेरी चैलेंजिंग your face tells me that there are more challenging things <laughs> so if you can okay, just uh, challenging first <laughs> or you want to go with challenging first okay <laughs> um so for me i think i came from a really dynamic practice of um very intense gymnastics so when i came in and started doing slow asanas um it was really really difficult for me but it's also one of the things that i love most cuz it completely changed the way that i see things completely changed my perspective and i've like i've got so much more body awareness from doing that um so yeah it it was a challenge but a blessing in disguise i think and i'm actually able to stick to a self practice now whereas before i would be really agitated and i wouldn't be able to do things as slowly and gently so that's been good and then um have another thing i found really challenging was silence I think for me which actually I didn't realize how difficult I would find it but I think because I was so um kind of mesmerized by all of the personalities here because everyone's just so wonderful um I found it really difficult to not connect with those people um but then I realized like I'm I'm looking outside of myself when I'm doing that I'm not internally looking and that's something I struggle with anyway so Yeah, I think for me silence silence was definitely a challenge, but again rewarding. Um yeah. <clears throat> Hari om, uh, my name is Pooja and I'm from Goa. So before coming to ashram, so one question I had was will I be able to survive without fish curry and rice because here it's such good food. <laughs> <laughs> so but after coming here, I got so much engrossed into yoga because morning we used to get up at 5 o'clock. and we used to start with the herbal drink and then uh, yoga asana then pranayama then karma yoga then lectures we used to have each and every lecture was very interesting and it was something new for me and i learned many thing from this uh, yoga lectures and then uh, yogic food which i was having doubt but uh, starting it was very difficult for me but then i loved it and uh, <clears throat> then bhakti yoga we used to get to listen many good stories here and it was beautiful and yes and the challenging part was the silence that olivia said <laughs> it was very challenging sometimes i used to feel frustrating because of not able to communicate uh, to the people but uh, uh, at the end it was very good I mean, I came to know who I am. Yeah, it was really nice. Actually, how many days of silence in twenty-eight days you guys followed? <laughs> Three to four. Three to four. Three to four. Any I, optional? I tried a few times and failed. Extra. <laughs> yeah, so I I did half days and then I managed to do one full day and then the other the three days we were assigned, but I I tried like. Well, that's good. So three days was like recommended, but yeah. you you guys we did, did more. more than that, mm-hmm. Yeah. and it you know and the start of to doing the second course pre and post natal the first day of that i did silence all day ah. and that was wonderful like that was so so good so yeah oh yeah one piece of advice with the silence is get it in in the first few days because you will meet people here that you do want to talk to so do it when you don't know anyone as my advice <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's easier <laughs> Hello uh, um my name's Heath I'm from Tasmania Australia uh yeah on the challenges I concur definitely the silence factor even today I have some friends doing silence for the day and I even said to one of them but you're going two days we need to be talking <laughs> uh but that is definitely a challenge when you've got all these personalities and people from all around the world that you do want to connect with uh the enforced silence is a struggle uh and something that I found quite difficult Uh, one of the other challenges i think is just the sheer volume of information and knowledge and lectures yoga classes 
Uh, it is definitely not a retreat or a holiday. You come here to learn and the knowledge is presented to you. Uh, and you really have to just have all of your senses available to you to, to take that knowledge in. Uh, I actually enjoyed that aspect of it as well, but it is definitely a struggle. You have times of uh, you know, low energy, uh, the emotions, a little bit of emotional turmoil there along the way, but all of this enables growth. So that was a, cha a challenge for me, definitely. I guess uh, looking at the other side of things, the positives for me, uh, is firstly the teachings, the way that it's presented. It's a very systematic approach uh, to yoga and traditional hatha, which is exactly what I was looking for. It took me a lot of research and uh, a lot of inquiry to find something of this caliber. So I was very happy that it uh, matched up to my uh, needs or my expectations of what I thought would be here. Uh, secondly, the environment, it's absolutely marvelous. Uh, you can go up onto the hill and do your yoga practice up there. There's a lot of uh, really good places outside of the yoga. You're just getting the wall. Hang on, we're against the wall. Uh, <laughs> a little bit of hill. No. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Trust us. But that is a wall. But <laughs> even in the, the, the short amounts of time that you do have off in between the course, the local environment, there's places like Hanuman Hill and Hariha Fort yeah. and... Uh, Nasix is there's so much beautiful Trimbak places well. Trimba, well. to go to the um, Shiva temple beautiful 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 so I appreciated that as well um, and I guess the last thing for me is because of all these personalities and and everyone you get to meet and you get to connect with the way the ashram set up it is very much a family atmosphere so yes it has it can be a little bit regimented at some stages with the teachings, but outside of that, there's a massive support system. Mm. There's dogs, cats, um, babies, babies <laughs> the, the full spectrum. So, yeah, the babies are the that best. was great. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, just wanted to ask, the asana practice was almost four hours a day. Yeah. yeah. Was it challenging? Four hours is a lot of practice. Was for it me, challenging? For me, coming from the gymnastic background it wasn't as intense as I, I actually was really proud of myself of how prepared I was like I thought it was going to be a lot harder but the exhaustion side of things was still there but it was a familiar feeling for me um, but I know that I still felt exhausted there were times where you know the yoga was the last thing I wanted to do but I did it anyway and I felt better afterwards um, and yeah I think you know I think the thing is that the teachings here is you go at your own pace you do 70 percent. you don't push 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 and that's the most important thing is that you know you really have to learn what your body can and can't take and that's really really valid but so, is that easy approach of say 70 percent or mm -hmm. taking it how much your body can tolerate did it help you and other people to improve or not yeah so much my flexibility and strength has improved in these like in these six weeks that i've been here more than it ever has so I think yeah, it's interesting because I've had a reasonably strong yoga practice definitely over the last few years mm. and coming here with the intensity that's given uh, and because it is a 70 percent thing and more of a mm -hmm. um, traditional hatha uh, you the body awareness even now I'm noticing mm. better body awareness and with the sun salutations as part of the dynamic side of things uh, yesterday I completed my first set of 108. Yeah, that's really big. Yeah, that's yeah. very nice. And, uh, today I wake up and a tiny little bit of stiffness in the back of the legs, but other than that, I'm yeah. feeling fresh. Like, that's feeling the other really thing. Good. I came with chronic back pain from trying to push contortion moves, and over the six weeks, my back pain has gone, like completely mm. gone, which I find really amazing because mm. in some classes at the start, I had to sit out because of my back pain, and now I, I have no back pain and I can do all the asanas like you know yeah. and that's amazing like yesterday's uh, demonstration you did ollie was very nice so thank you that yeah. thank you for that <laughs> yeah even uh before coming here i used to think we have to give 100 percent to do those twists and all mm. so but after coming here i i actually used to force my body mm. you know, to touch my uh, arms to the uh, toes, the yeah. ideal pose. yeah but after coming here uh, i got to know many things like roshan used to tell us that awareness is the main thing and also that stiram sukham asanam is the main 
concept of this uh, yoga asana steady and comfortable they said so that in all of our micro lessons yeah. every single one we had to go steady and comfortable steady, steady and comfortable, and comfortable. <laughs> steady and comfortable so it's something new for me and it's really nice and it's working on me also mm. and my body has become flexible now <laughs> Yeah, she's my roommate. She does she does her self practice every morning. Yeah, and Olivia is very flexible. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, uh, what is your advice for those who want to come here? So what will help them more and what will help them get maximum out of this program? Spend time on your own. Definitely internalize um and just study really, you know, do what you came to do, set a resolve. Um, I think that's one thing that we got really encouraged to do in our classes was set, make a resolve, um, something that you can stick by. Mine was I'm here to have love and connection with my body and focus. Um, and I feel like to the, my, to the best of my ability, I've achieved that. So I would really recommend setting a resolve and sticking to it just every day. And um, yeah, I don't know. Just t- take time, go to the meditation room. Do lots of meditation, do lots of breathing, you know, connect with people. You will find connections even if you're in silence. So, um, yeah, you will feel like it's your family here. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, spend the time on your own because it is really important. That's what, you know, that's what Ashram is about. So. Yeah. Um, I would like to advise if you want to learn yoga, then it's better if you learn it from uh, very experienced people or from ashram uh, I would recommend yoga gurukul uh, and also uh, if you want to learn the yogic lifestyle that there are niyamas yamas uh, mm. I learned it from here and I'll I'll try to apply it back home uh, and also uh, try to spend time with you doing meditation or you can um, do half day silence also Yes, mm. if you want to experience it, uh, you can visit this ashram. It's mm. very much fun. <laughs> oh, one more thing. Um, throw yourself into karma yoga as much as possible because you get the benefits from it. You really, really do. Um, just helping out just makes you feel worthy of something. If you know, mm. if you're going through some personal problems, helping other people is just the best medicine ever. It's it's really helped me overcome some stuff. Uh, and if I look at the practicalities of things, definitely come here with an open mind. Mm-hmm. Uh, you maybe have practices elsewhere and learnings elsewhere, uh, but this is the way the school is run here and there's a lot of hidden knowledge and information. And to be able to absorb all that, you will need to have an open mind and uh, you will definitely again get the benefits having done that by the end of the course. Uh, and secondly, Again, it's been mentioned, this is rigorous in the fact that there's a huge amount of information and the volume of asana practice and whatnot. So again, on the practicality side of things, I would say come with some semblance of fitness. Uh, Mm -hmm. That way, the mental duress won't impact you as much if you're physically prepared. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And give up all of the, um, you know, coffee, sugar, all of that. Give it all up before you come here because it will be a lot harder. You don't want withdrawals. Yeah, (laughs) no, honestly. Yeah, give it up now. (laughs) Three months preparation. (laughs) Okay, thank you guys. Thank you for coming and sharing your experience. Mm -hmm. Adiós. Adiós.